There is no calamity on the face of this earth. From the time of Adam till Qiyamah come, greater than the calamity of the Dajjal. And there wasn't a prophet that came and accepted, he came and warned his people about him. And in another hadith, and Nuh warned his people about him. Nuh, at the t very early in human history, at that time Nuh warned his people about this calamity of the Dajjal. And the Prophet says, all prophets warned their people about him. And I am the last of the prophets. And you are the last of the nations. So he will come from you. There's no way about it. He will come amidst your time. La mahala. There is no exception. It will come in your time. And then he says, the rahmatul muhda, that if he comes, wa ana bayna adhurikum, and I am amidst you, then I will suffice him on your behalf. I will fight him on your behalf. If I am here and he comes, leave him to me. But if he comes and I'm not here, then I leave you to Allah and Allah Rabbul Azza will be your caretaker. And in another hadith, the Prophet wasallam says, from the time of Adam until Qiyamah, no Amr has come greater than that of the Dajjal. The Dajjal will shake Iman to its core. He will come, look at the calamity. There will be a river of water and a river of fire. And Subhanallah, before he comes, three years will happen like this. In the first year, Allah Rabbul Izza will order the sky to hold back a third of its rain. So a third of the water of the rain will be held back. And the second year, two thirds will be held back. And the third year, there will be no rain. So a drought and famine has already gripped mankind. And then this man comes, the Dajjal. With him, a river of fire and a river of water. And he enters into a village amidst the people. And he says, do you believe in me? I am your Lord. And when they believe, he tells the sky rain and rain comes. Tells the earth, produce your produce and it will produce its produce. He will go to a dead person, tell a person, a Bedouin, if I bring your parents back to life, would you believe that I am your Lord? He will say yes, he says rise and two shayateen will come in the image of his parents and will say son listen to him, he's your Lord. Do you see Iman is shaken to its core? How do you not believe your eyes? He will tell the earth, spit out your treasures. The hadith says like, be like bees, gold and silver and diamonds will come out of the ground and follow him. It's difficult times. At this instance, only Iman will see you through. Listen carefully Muslims. All the faculties and information gathering tools that you have will be deceived. The only thing that you will have left is your hearts. And it is important and I insist regularly work on the hearts. 